Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my short video tutorials. In my previous video in video 8, we noted a coronal mouse brain spatial sequencing data into R. So we named it as a brain. In this video, we will perform data pre-processing and dimensionality reduction, sports clustering, and visualization. Spatial sequencing data also has tissue variations, so this makes it more difficult for data normalization. So we can use the range function to have a look at the variation of n features and n count in this spatial sequencing data set. You can see down here there are big variations in the n count and the n features. When we analyze the single cell RNA sequencing data, we use the log normalize function uh, to normalize the single cell RNA sequencing data because the technical effect and the tissue variations, the log normalization method is not a uh, effective method for spatial sequencing data normalization. So Strat uh, developed a better data normalization method called single cell transform. So it is a recommended method for spatial sequencing data pre-processing. So during a single cell RNA sequencing data analysis, we performed three steps for the pre-processing analysis, uh, normalize data, find the variable features, and uh, scale data. The SC transform function not only normalizes the data, at the same time it also performs the analysis of find the variable features and uh, scaling the data. So we just need to run one function, single cell transform, to perform data normalization, find variable features, and uh, uh, scaling the data. So let's run this function. Because it uh, performs three steps uh, at the same time, so it uh, takes a little time to run it. So our finished uh, uh, step of data pre-processing using the single cell transform function so now let's have a look at the data set. You can see in the C, uh, the original data was stored in the spatial slot. Following the uh, SC transform analysis, SC transform stored the, the analyzed data in the SCT uh, slot. Now we can perform uh, the rest of the analysis for the uh, dimensionality reduction Sports clustering and uh, visualize the uh, data. So the rest of the steps are very similar to the single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. After the step of pre-processing, we just need to run dimensionality reduction by the run PCA function. Then we can find the neighbors and the clusters. So finally, we can use the non-linear dimensional reduction technique, uh, UMAP, to project uh, uh, the similar spots together in a uh, no-dimensional space. We can run UMAP. Now we can visualize the clusters by the dim plot function. Throughout also developed a method called a spatial dim plot to visualize the position of each spot on the image. So let's also run the spatial dim plot function. Then we can visualize uh, the spot clusters and the spot's uh, position on the image. So we can zoom in. Now you can see uh, the spots clusters 
on the left hand side, on the right hand side, we can see the sports position on the image. Here we are talking about a sports clustering, not a single cell clustering. The diameter of sports size uh, in 10 times VGM analysis is about uh, 50 micrometers. So each spot could uh, contain several cells. So the spots contain uh, similar cell types will uh, be clustered into the same cluster. For example, here you can see a uh, cluster 0, cluster 1, cluster 2, and uh, cluster 11. They are next to each other. On the image you can see cluster 0, cluster 1, and uh, 2, and 11. They are the spots in the cortex region. Another example is uh, uh, cluster 4, 15, and 16. You can see uh, they are clusters next to each other. On the image you can see cluster 4, cluster 15, and 16. They are the spots in the hippocampus area. So they contain and uh, similar cells. So you can see uh, the spots have similar cells will be clustered into the same cluster and also uh, the cluster in this similar tissue area will be placed next to each other. So now uh, we finish the basic analysis for the spatial sequencing data set. So I'm going to stop here today for this video. Please subscribe my channel if you would like to watch my future videos.